What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and I finally got the Google Pixel 2 XL. Been very excited to actually receive this and test it out against the iPhone 8 Plus in an ultimate speed test battle. This arguably right now is the best Android phone you can buy. While it may not look as high tech as some of the other ones right now, the user experience makes it the best. And honestly, the design is great too. I was a lot more impressed with it once I saw it in person. The way that the glass smooths around the edges into the chassis, it's beautiful. And yes, there is a lot of controversy about the display. A lot of users are reporting burn-in already. And in general, it's not a very bright or great display because it's not made by Samsung, it's made by LG. But regardless, I wanted to see from a power standpoint, how does the best Android phone compete with Apple's currently best iPhone until the iPhone 10 that is. So let's go ahead and run through a variety of speed tests to give you the best possible idea of how fast the Google Pixel 2 XL is in comparison with the A plus starting with a real world speed test. This is where I'll be running a bunch of applications you may use on a day to day basis simultaneously starting with the clock application then jumping into Snapchat to check a snap, then Instagram to refresh your feed, which takes longer on the iPhone and the camera to take a picture also hesitant on the iPhone definitely can take a picture faster on the Google Pixel 2 XL and then jumping into Photoshop in order to edit an 8K image, which is massive. It took like 30 seconds just for the iPhone to save this image. Uh, actually pretty quick on both. At this point in time, they're both neck and neck as the animations are very similar from the Pixel 2 and the iPhone. They kind of expand and that does take away from the opening speed, but uh, the Pixel 2 is still very, very fast here. So onto Mario Run here, I'm kind of impressed how fast the Google Pixel 2 is. Usually around here, most Android phones start lagging behind, but it is still neck and neck with the iPhone. Now, loading up Asphalt 8, just wanted to mention that both of these devices are loaded on the same Wi-Fi network, so they get the same advantage on the web-based apps, which we're about to jump into. And then the largest application of the bunch, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. So loading a console quality game from the PS2 on a smartphone is incredible, but doing it this fast is even more impressive. A younger version of me would have been so impressed knowing I could play this on my phone in a decade or so. Anyways, moving on to Zynga, this is where the web-based applications start. Going on to Netflix, well, it's pretty quick onto the iPhone, and this is where the iPhone starts pushing ahead as it's already on Uber, jumping into Amazon now to do some quick shopping, and then leaving it for SoundCloud for some music. The Google Pixel 2 is catching up here as it's loading the web-based applications impressively fast, and it's now caught up with the iPhone 8 Plus again. I have never seen that happen before. Now opening up Video Shop, we're editing a minute and a 30 second video in 4K, of course. Now, first off, we gotta compile the video and then export it into our gallery or photos. Now, this is where the Google Pixel 2's advantage of speed and opening animations starts to falter as the iPhone pushes ahead with that raw power of the Apple A11 Fusion. It's simply mental how fast the iPhone is working with 4K video on most smartphones. It really takes a long time, but the iPhone, wow, it was built to handle 4K and 4K 60 frames per second, and it definitely shows here. So while the iPhone is pretty much finished now and starting its second round after a two minute and 56 second round one, the Google Pixel 2 XL is still exporting and compiling that video. It's really, really slow. Now, had the Google Pixel 2 been running a newer version of the Qualcomm Snapdragon processor, maybe even a next generation version, it might've been closer here because without this video export part, it was neck and neck. It was so fast and keeping up with the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus despite the huge gap in speed of the processors. Now, while the Google Pixel 2 XL is still working on the compilation and exports, I just wanted to point your attention to the round two of the iPhone 8 Plus. For some reason, most of the applications did refresh and you had to start new. And this definitely was not a problem on the iPhone 7 Plus. Even in the speed test between the 7 Plus and 8 Plus, the 7 Plus was the one that didn't refresh all of the apps, but on the 8 Plus it did. And I'm hoping this is something that is fixed in 11.1. Now, after Mario Run, all the applications on the 8 Plus were where I left them. I'm guessing that the system just needed to clear some RAM. So it basically erased those apps from the app switcher in order to accommodate editing that 4K video. Anyways, 
Round two on the iPhone 8 Plus was a peachy one minute and seven seconds. The Google Pixel 2 is already working on round two as it did finish with four minutes and five seconds on round one. And the Google Pixel 2 XL, like most Android phones with four gigabytes of RAM, had to reload every single application. The iPhone 8 Plus just had to do the first few, but this one, every single one, in order for the phone to handle the 4K video compilation and exporting. So I'm a little disappointed by that. Even with Google's optimization, I think four gigabytes just wasn't enough for this phone, but it definitely was the fastest Android phone I've ever tested actually. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and continue with some other speed tests, starting with a startup test. I'm gonna go ahead and shut both of these down. And the iPhone 8 won the every iPhone comparison, so I know this one is really good. Let's try the Pixel 2 XL. I love this new power down menu, by the way, with Android 8.0, super convenient. I wish Apple did something sort of like that. It's very uh, under your finger convenient. Anyways, with both of them turned off here in three, two, one, and they are off. So on the right, we've got iOS 11.0.3 with the iPhone 8 Plus, and on the left, Android 8.0. So 8.1 is on the horizon for the Google Pixel series, but it's not coming out yet, just like 11.1 is over here. And the winner is the Google Pixel 2. Wow, very surprised. I uh, did not expect Google to beat Apple at one of its best games, the startup. So. That's a startup, it is faster. Let's go ahead and do some app launching individually just to get a very concise uh, example here. And here we go with Snapchat, one, two, three. Faster on the Pixel. On Instagram, one, two, three. Faster on the Pixel. Camera, one, two, three. Faster on the iPhone. Google Maps, one, two, three. Faster on the iPhone, surprisingly. Photoshop Express, one, two, three. Faster on the iPhone, one, two, three. And that one is faster on the iPhone, by two times at least on an 8K image. Minecraft, one, two, three. This one kind of hangs on the larger games. I don't really understand that. And it still loaded it faster. Loading the game, one, two, three. Faster on the Pixel, very impressive. Asphalt, one, two, three. I'm very impressed with the animation speed on the Pixel 2, by the way. It makes the phone feel so much faster. I mean, Apple deliberately slows their phone down with their animations. Uh, Asphalt 8 was faster on the iPhone. And San Andreas loading the game. One, two, three. Already got the bar on the Pixel. And looks like the Pixel is faster here. Yeah, crazy. The larger games do load faster on the Pixel somehow. Zynga Poker and... Uh, Blurry screen there, I don't know what that's about. Faster on the Pixel. So it looks like most of these apps are going to be faster on the Pixel. If you're just gonna be doing regular things, the Pixel is gonna excel at that. All right, so there it is with loading applications. Very impressed with the Pixel 2, its capability of loading apps fast, especially the bigger ones and the fast animations. So next up, let's do some browser tests here, load some websites, starting with apple.com in three, two, one. And a little bit faster on the Pixel. Let's try Reddit. Three, two, one. And loaded faster on the iPhone. And CNN. One, two, three. Faster on the iPhone. So the browser is faster on the iPhone, definitely. So now let's go ahead and get some Geekbench results, some benchmarks from Antutu as well. See how on the numbers these compare. All right, and these are the scores that we're looking at with the A11 Bionic and the Snapdragon 835 on the Google Pixel 2. So four gigabytes of memory on both, multi-core score very beastly on the iPhone 8 Plus, and single score more than double of the Google Pixel 2. But it's very amazing how this thing handles itself with these lesser specs. So I'm very impressed with both of these. Let's get onto the Antutu. All right, and about halfway through, I wanted to show you guys uh, the results of a heat test. So testing both of these while they are uh, running a very intensive application on their hottest point. And actually, even while handling both of these, I was very impressed in how cool the Pixel 2 was. As you can see, well under 100 degrees. I'm getting like 93 degrees at most. Oh, 95 over here on the iPhone. Let's check that out. 102, 109, 111. That is insane. 111 degrees while testing the same test. And wow, 166,947 over the iPhone 8 Plus. I didn't think it could actually lose, but 
that is very impressive. So Apple has lost out on the GPU game here versus the Google Pixel 2. And just a quick Wi-Fi speed test from about 50 feet from my router using the very same network. All right, and here are the results. So the iPhone 8 Plus had a disappointing 235 megabit download speed from the same distance. So uh, props to the Google Pixel 2 for winning that one. All right, and lastly, I wanna test the fingerprint sensor speed. Gonna have to peel this one off from the table just to get this to work, but try to make this happen. All right, so with the screen off in three, two, one. Wow, no animation on the pixel, very subtle fade one, that's why it's faster. Three, two, one, very fast. And with the screen on, one, two, three. Very fast on the pixel, so like twice as fast because of the lack of animation. One, two, three. All right, guys, there it is, the Google Pixel 2 versus the iPhone 8 Plus. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely wasn't easy making it, but the results were very surprising. So to both, great job. Pixel 2 XL surprised me in many ways. And if I was an Android guy, I would definitely be using this phone over any other. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next one. Peace.